Hi, we're going to find the speed of a bubble. And in this tube, there's a little bubble that when we flip it upside down, the bubble will start to rise. And you're going to determine the speed of that bubble. So every time we flip it over, the bubble will rise. I like doing this, keeping the bubble in the same spot, because I think it looks cool. <laughs> but your job is actually to measure the speed of the bubble. And to help you out, we've got two things. We've got a clock here, or you can use your own clock to time with. The distance from the outside edge of this piece of tape to the outside edge of this piece of tape is 33 centimeters. The distance from the inside of this tape to the inside of this piece of tape is 28 centimeters. And the distance from the outside of one tape to the inside of the other is 30.5 centimeters. You choose which measurement that you're going to use as long as you stay consistent. You know what distance you're going to find a time, so you should be able to find the velocity of the bubble. And I want to do four turns with each tube. Okay? There's also a meter stick on the wall if you choose to use it. Okay? So, ready? We'll start the first turn now. Second turn. Third turn. And fourth turn. Now we're going to another tube. The measurements for distance are the same for the red tube, except this bubble obviously travels at a different speed. Starting the clock for you, first turn. Second turn. Third, fourth. We have one last tube, green. We'll do the same process. The distance measurements are again the same. First turn. Second turn. Third turn. Fourth turn. Now, using your measurements, determine the speed of the bubble for each color. 